Augmented reality is one of the biggest technology trends right now and it's only getting bigger with these AR ready smartphones and other devices accessible around the world. AR let us see the real life environment in front of us anytime and anywhere in the world. For example, if you want to buy a new sofa or a dining table for your living room, you can use the IKEA app which lets you select some furnitures and actually see that how they looks in the camera and then you can select. And so in this video, we are going to talk about the augmented reality, i.e. AR and the future of it. Hey friend, my name is Kamran and I make videos on technology, tips and tricks on productivity and how you can be more productive in your life using technology. Let's get started. environment and adds up information and virtual objects to make a new artificial environment. Many developers are creating augmented reality apps and this has opened up a huge broader audience for the AR. Now let's talk about the history of augmented reality. Augmented reality was first achieved to some extent by a cinematographer called Morton Haling in 1957. He invented the sensorama which delivered visual sounds, vibration and smell to the viewer. Of course, it wasn't computer control but it was the first example of an attempt to adding additional data to an experience. Then in 1968, even the American computer scientists and early internet influence invented the head mounted display as a kind of window into a virtual world. The technology used at the time made the invention impractical of mass use. In 1975, Myron Kuger, an American computer artist developed the first virtual reality interface in the form of a video place. It allowed it users to manipulate and interact with virtual objects and to do so in real time. For those who have purchased a furniture from the store and it did not work in the space, then the IKEA app helps you this in the future. The IKEA app was built using Apple's AR kit technology, which uses augmented reality and which allows you to scan your room and design the space by IKEA furnitures in a virtual image, then overlays the image. There are some incredibly exciting applications for augmented reality in healthcare for allowing medical students to train in AR environments. To telemedicine option that enable medical professional to interact with patients in critical situations, augmented reality applications can deliver real-time information to treat area to support diagnosis. The apps like Snapchat has been already using AR technology to enhance user experience. Now let's talk about the augmented reality and the future of it. Augmented reality is quickly becoming one of the most interested technologies in the digital space. AR is expected to take the lion's share of the market. According to the one estimate, the AR market will be worth between 75 billion by 2023. Think of travel, media, education, healthcare, retail, you name it. Augmented reality is going to be the future. Now let's talk about some of the industries where AR can be used in the near future. There are apps being available for research in AR technology in nearly every industry. Educational, healthcare, media, military, navigation, construction, industrial design, archaeology, art, architecture, and way beyond. Augmented reality will give us just-in-time information anyway. The technology will empower people to time travel into the past anywhere using a simple headset or other immersive devices, enhancing edu educational and travel experience. It goes without saying, the future of AI is going to blow our mind. More big brands adopt it, the technology develops, and more data is being fundamentally collected. It is undoubtedly the operating system of the future. Either way, that's been it. that was about the augmented reality and the future of AR. What do you think about AR? How will you use it? That's been it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Kamran. This is KR7 Studio, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.